I did the thing. I stuck to the challenge I set myself. 12 videos on a load of different topics are now done. So I'm an amazing DM slash GM now, right? Right? This video is a look back at what I've learned so far, a look at just how much I've still got to learn about running amazing games of D&D and other TTRPGs, and also how you can help me get even better by potentially joining me at my tables. My name's Rich, and this is Renegade Rolls. If you've just come across my channel or haven't visited for a while, I've been making a series of videos called Upping My Game. The playlist link is up here and in the description. The next couple of minutes are a bit of a retrospective on those videos. The time code for what's coming next for me and this channel and how you're going to help is on screen just now, it's just there. Ah, technology. It's also in the chapter marker below. Part one of the video, the recap, starts now. The video on welcoming and teaching was probably the one I researched most deeply. It's made me realise that with new players, teaching a TTRPG system, as well as a law for a world, all in one evening, is likely to be a bit too much to take in and to remember for a lot of people. Now my intro games I'll play with people are much more law light, and I focus on letting folks roll more dice and do cool stuff. It took that deep dive for me to realise something I'm sure a lot of you know instinctively, but I'm glad I figured it out in the end. My video on pre-written modules made me realise that my D&D 5e books all have something worthwhile in them. But I don't really want to run any campaign entirely by the book these days, so breaking and remaking modules was a logical focus for that video. I also share some good advice on how to stay flexible when following a pre-written book and how to avoid writing yourself into a corner with homebrew adventures. Improvising. This is my favourite out of the whole bunch as it's broadened my horizons in gaming and in the rest of my life as a whole. I decided to put my money where my mouth is and take an improv course. This turned out to be a wonderful decision as I made some awesome friends and learned something really important about myself. I got this. On stage, or behind a GM screen, if I get thrown a curveball, I now know that my brain, this brain, will come up with something. And it might even be funny. At the table, this has given me so much more confidence to go with the flow and spend my prep time on cool characters and world building, rather than pre-writing box text. The advice in my how to start and how to stop world building video has probably been the toughest for me to follow. I love world building, and I know that coming up with lore is unlikely to be the most useful session prep. My rule is now that if I've got a session coming up, I'm not allowed to do any more world building until I've got a solid Lazy Dungeon Master approved format for the session in place. If I've still got some spare time, cool, I'll flesh out that goblin aristocracy one day. My advice on story crafting is something I try and remember for every session. In the types of games I like to play, it's the player character's story. The NPC's plots and schemes and the big events that I choose to make happen as GM, they're not the story. The story is the evolution of the player characters and how they, mostly, overcome adversity and how they grow together. My video on game mastery turned into something I hadn't expected. Rather than talking about the minutiae of a particular system, I realised a more useful video would be about how to learn a new system, but also how to keep that information in your head. The descriptions video was probably the one where I felt the limits of my skills the most keenly, certainly compared to the big names in game mastery. I realised that I didn't practice my descriptions nearly enough, a bit more on that later by the way, and I'm still struggling to convey that sense of wonder of my settings and scenarios without falling into cliches, so it's definitely something I'll keep working on. I spoke to an actual soldier for the combat and tactics video, I learned a whole load about real world warfare and strategy, but my big takeaway is that as a game master, your goal isn't actually to win at combat, it's to provide a difficult challenge for your players that they may or may not overcome. The GM has infinite scope to make things easy or difficult, but you're still allowed to fight hard with the enemies that you've added. Just just try and use Tarask's fall and everyone dies sparingly. Characters. This one contains Boblin the Goblin, the bestest NPC in all the land, closely followed by Montgomery Fandango. They are both delightful. You need no more reasons to go check that one out. The video on Scottish accents ended up being one of my favourites. It's a bit less TTRPG focused than the others, but it was a great opportunity to ask some friends and for them to lend me their voice skills. I'm looking forward to hearing from other dungeon tubers. Is that actually a word? 
for their videos about the troubles people have with their local accents. Table Vibes. This one wins my favourite thumbnail award. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Me and my cool little dice friend looked at some of the absolute basics of when to play and when not to play a game. The advice is often repeated, but for a good reason. You've got to talk to your players. That solves 99% of problems at the table. The video on getting inspired was the most personal to me. I spoke about where I get new ideas and how I relax and decompress after stressful times. And there's a video of a whirlpool in there. It's a whirlpool! Awesome! <laughs> I feel I learned something from researching each of these videos, and even more again from some of the fascinating comments from you lovely folks, so thank you all for sharing your wisdom. Here's part two. Welcome back to all the folks who skipped to here, although you have just missed Boblin the Goblin and a cool video of a whirlpool. My plan for this channel is twofold. At the core, I want this channel to be a place for me to celebrate the diversity within TTRPGs. That means talking about D&D sometimes, but mostly exploring different systems and listening to different voices within our hobby. I'll do this by continuing to make weekly videos on all sorts of TTRPG stuff, with a focus on things that you might not hear elsewhere. The second part of the plan is where you lovely people come in. I really want to get back into running more games. I'm going to start some new campaigns and I want you to play with me. If you want to play, and you're not a horrific person, you're in. At least for a one-shot. Keep your eyes open for a series of Looking for Player videos. So far, the list of games I'm going to be running is some D&D 5e, Index Card RPG, Daggerheart and Dungeon Crawl Classics, but that might expand as I come across more systems. I've recently read the rules for Grit and Easy D6, but haven't had a chance to play those yet. The games will be at times which are convenient to me, but for any Antipodean friends, I could be persuaded to get up early one Sunday morning. That'll be your Sunday night. If any of the one-shots go well, they can turn into ten-shots. If any ten-shots go well, well, we've got the beginnings of actual campaign groups. I'm properly excited about this, and I can't wait to see you there, at a virtual table near you, rolling an improbable succession of ones. Which would be great news for you, as I'd be GMing. <laughs> Cheers.